Hi. Good morning. And welcome back to the video. As you know, we are on Island Cozumel in Mexico. Yes, After yesterday's diving, today we are we decided to explore the entire island. And we're going to do that by motorbike. Exactly. It's also a big cruise ship stop. So I think that in this video, you will also see what you can do on your stop here. Because you also can just rent the motorbike near the port and do this tour by yourself. 500 pesos. Let's explore. Let's First thing, bring mosquito repellent. As we said, you can rent the motorbike in San Miguel de Cozumel. The prices are around 500 pesos for the entire day. And they tried to sell you all types of insurance. We're not going to tell you if whether to take it or not. Decide what is best for you. There's only one major road around the island. So from west to the east and then to the south and around. The northern part is really inaccessible. It's just left to nature. So you cannot really go there. Along the way, there are some places where they can show you how to make tequila and sell. We didn't really bother with that. We just tagged along with a group and saw a little bit how it's done. But because we were driving, so we didn't want to drink. It is a little bit windy. We had to change helmets because helmets here are pure rubbish and it keeps falling off. Okay, east side. First beach club, $20 minimum spending per person. And it's really windy on this side, so we're gonna, we're gonna carry on. One thing to bear in mind, as you can see, the eastern part is really windy. And judging by the lack of any infrastructure there, I think this is always the case. So maybe just drive through and move on to nicer places. As we now already know, one of the biggest problems of Mexico is getting to a beach. We wanted to go to a beach club, but it was full. So we just stopped at a random restaurant uh, that was close to the beach so that we could go to the sea. But the beach is... Yeah. We'll try to find something better. Playa Corona. It's 300 pesos minimum spending and it's supposed to be good something here. So let's see. Very good. Very good. They take care of the reef. They have some coral farm nurseries or something. It looks good. How is your burrito? Good. Actually the best burrito we had. <laughs> Looks like we're the last ones left at this uh, beach bar uh, club. Um, the minimum spending is, as we said, $15. So 300 pesos per person. The it's food good. was good, we the had drinks lunch. are okay. Uh, although you have to pay this entrance fee or whatever that is, they still charge you a service fee. 100 pesos. Okay, now we're gonna go and return the bike and then we'll see if we'll 
find some dinner in the city. And we'll, we will show you the city in the evening. Quick update, the mosquitoes are crazy. So, I don't know, repellent or just be in the water the whole time. Getting a good, decent and cheap food was quite difficult, so as you can see we went to Pizza Hut quite a few times to get a pizza and just sat on the beach and enjoyed it uh, because all the places are really for the, I would say, for the cruise ship passengers who stop here for the day. And we are already back on the mainland in Playa del Carmen. And we took the morning uh, fast ferry, we have two companies, Windjet and Ultramar, I think that Windjet is a little bit a little cheaper, yeah. A little cheaper, but they're both work fine. Cozumel, if you're not a diver, mm. it's nice. It's nice, but there are so many beach clubs, it's difficult to go to the beach, to the nice beaches at least. All the facilities are tailored to the cruise ship passengers. Yeah. So bear that in mind, but if you are a diver, it is an amazing place. True. You can also True. go on a snorkeling tour. Yeah, there are some three, research. Yeah, there are three different um, possibilities. One with a big catamaran boat, which is around 100, 100. euro. The second one with a smaller boat, smaller boat 75. for 75, and the small boat is 50. They all have two to four stops for snorkeling, for swimming. And the most expensive one is all inclusive, so free yes, meals, so drinks, free and everything. everything. But um, they all last just maximum four or five hours. Yes, There's because they go to the north of the island, there are south. two, so, sorry, south of the island, there are two nice snor snorkeling spots, El Cielo and El Cielito. This is where you can see the, the sea stars and the... And you can see the stingrays, the eagle rays. The, yeah, yeah. So, thank you for watching this one. If you have any questions, let us know and we'll be maybe glad. We, maybe we can uh, help you. See you next time. See you next time. And what? Uh, and uh, okay. Yeah, oh, stingrays, okay, so. Yeah. And you can see the stingrays, the eagle rays.